let's say that it's a lot of young men that are listening to this podcast that want to have a great love life. You're pointing out a very important principle here. Most of these guys, you want a woman in your life. You want that feminine energy. You want to have sex. Let's just be honest. What do you do? A uh, father of many is pointing out here is that you need to first become the kind of man that the woman that you want is looking for. This is what I was told when I was like 19 years old, become who you're looking for is looking for. That's what I was told by my first mentor. And it really clicked for me. That makes sense. Because if I don't do that, I'm just gonna keep chasing around low quality women. It's just gonna keep going in this circle of hurt. So instead of the pain being, my heart being broken over and over again by low quality women, I might as well instead have the pain of growth that will allow me to get a high quality woman. That's how I thought about it. And it wasn't easy and I wasn't perfect. And throughout that process, I had a lot of temptations and there were a couple times that I gave into them. But then I learned very quickly, okay, yeah, this is what I thought would happen if I did this, but I gave into my impulse. I got to the point where I just had enough because I kept reaping what I was sowing and I wanted to reap something different. So I started sowing something different. Not because I was some inherently great person. I just wanted a better life. I would say it's, it was actually out of selfishness. I just just wanted a better life. So that's what you have to do is you have to press into that pain of growth to become who you're looking for is looking for. Become the kind of man that can lead a high quality woman in a relationship and the rest will fall into place. And you don't have to have game. You don't have to buy some course on Riz. If you actually become a high quality man, you just being yourself will attract a high quality woman. And anyone telling you something different is trying to sell you something. I think that it's about how much pain you're willing to endure to grow. And if you're willing to do that, then you could be a you could be an 18 year old man that's ready to lead a high quality woman, or you could be a 50 year old man that is not. You could experience all the growth you need. I've seen it to lead a high quality relationship in six months. You could, but you're gonna have to really, really shift. And that happens if you want it bad enough. But if you don't, then you won't, and it'll be a much longer journey. And that's okay. That might just be part of your journey, but. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm 20 right now. In order to get to that point, I need to be like 30. Because that's the other thing, you know? There is true to guys talking about, well, your value as a man, like you're going to have higher market value into your 30s. So you should wait until then because that's when you'll be able to get the highest quality woman. And yes, I'm not saying there's not truth. To there's definitely truth to that. That being said, you can get a high quality woman that will bet on you if she sees the right characteristics. And so if you exhibit those characteristics, you can lock down that hot, high quality 21 year old girl at when, when you're like 21 yourself. I, I know that because I've seen that all the time. For a lot of guys, they haven't really done that and they don't have the right mentorship, the right ingredients in order to grow. And so that's why there's this overall advice given, hey, wait into your 30s, because that tends to be when guys figure it out more, when their brains are fully developed. They've just had a lot more time to make mistakes, live out the consequences of those mistakes and realize the, you know, the kind of life that they want to have and that their way of like sleeping around with low quality women isn't working. So that's why that's the overall advice that is given. And that will work for a lot of guys guys in their teens and low 20s aren't really going through those those growth pains. But if you're willing to, you can have that part of your life in good order sooner. And the benefit to that is that then you can grow more. Th that's the other thing that people say, oh, well, you're going to change so much. Yeah, well, when people align on values, when you have a high quality man and a high quality woman, they grow together. Just that statement shows that you're, you don't really understand how men and women work when you actually have the right mindset towards a love relationship with the opposite gender. You, you're just not seeing it. And I have a lot of sympathy for that. I'm not talking down to you when I'm saying that. I was there at one point and I needed people to speak into my life to help me see the truth. And I'm so thankful that they did. And so you need to realize that that's really the case and that living it up, that's the other lie that we're told. Get it out of your system. Live it up in your 20s. You're not getting it out of your system. You're getting it into your system. That's how it works. And the more people that you sleep with, this is especially true for women, but it's also true for men. The more people that you sleep with, the more you are numbing yourself. And it is very hard to completely clear that from your mentality to where you will experience things the same way with the person you end up spending the rest of your life.